Hello everybody, welcome back to more Undermine Other Mine. Streak in time, I think we're on a streak of like seven or eight or so. Once again, we'll always find out at the end of the episode here. Granted, only if we win, but <laughs> here we go. In, ooh, ooh, this is an interesting choice because Battle Standard really does really, really help with the room clear. But honestly, the amount of gold we're going to recover, and by that I mean not lose, with pilfering and the shop discount, I feel like as a first item, it's basically an impossible pass up. And Spirit, just giving us two potion slots is a really good situation. Uh, you know, in, in addition to the other effects, of course, we've seen what it could do yesterday, especially. Strength Blessing, because who knows? Like, are we going to be in a bomb run? I don't freaking know. Oh, my God. Potion slots out the wazoo. Uh, and uh, kind of a throw focus. You know what? We have not done a throw run in a while. All enemies inflict poison sucks. Killing enemies destroys items. You know what? I think we could manipulate this. I think we can manipulate this. So killing enemies destroys items means after we kill 20 enemies, every time we kill 20 enemies, rather, every time we kill 20 enemies, we are actually going to, uh, hmm, 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 fine, we do it, you know what, I'm not going to be stingy yet, uh, what am I, what was I getting at? Every time we kill 20 enemies, we lose either a key or a bomb, however, if we don't have any, we lose nothing. And it only happens when we, like, at the moment that we kill 20 enemies. So if we basically just leave the keys on the ground and stuff like that, for right now, since it's the beginning of the run and it's not that, you know, it's not that crucial to pick them up immediately. Cause, oh, well. And then there's situations like that where we got no choice. But let's, uh, we got 16 enemies until we, uh, we lose that son of a gun. And like I was going to say, all of this could be irrelevant because we may just literally, uh, remove the curse right away which i think is probably going to be what i want to do it's it's not bad and i think we could manipulate the run for like for the beginning here for it to not really matter however i would probably much rather just remove our curse right away sacrifice the 50 health and say it's just not something i want to think about in the in the beginning of the run here but we don't have like i'll be honest it's a pretty weak start from a statistic standpoint we have some nice utility oh that was so messy oh, we have some nice like really really nice utility oh what do we got immolation potion it basically gives us the um what is it the large ember effect oh my god i don't know if it scales with bomb damage or anything but uh I, I think it, it does give us that effect. Well, there's, I'm kind of noticing there's a lot of, like, kind of bad unlockable potions. Mm, blue offering. I, I feel like going from two options at the shrines to three options at the shrines will help us specialize a run, like, just a little bit better. Currently, we have no specialization. It's far too early, and we did not get any, uh, any, we didn't get any build around items. Nothing, nothing to build around. Poop, poop. So we very much are going to be doing swing throw combo right now because we don't really have any strength. Kind of leaning towards a little bit of a moderate hybrid run. All right. Well, you know what? It's it's fine. We sacked a little bit of HP for a little bit of gold, effectively. We do want to make sure we get out of the water at all costs because we have the we have the zap, which is really good to kind of. It kind of nullifies the fact that we aren't strong. And it gives us a really, really strong upgrade. Like, it's, it's really, really good for damage, but it is a little bit volatile. I can't believe they keep on giving me item rooms that have nothing in them. I don't get it. Should this be the day? <sighs> Today's the day. Today's the day. Fine. Why'd I do it? Why'd I do it? Why'd I do it? Why'd I do it? Oh boy. 
I've done a bad thing, and I regret the thing I did. Oh, boy. Okay. Sir, break this rock. Never mind. We could have definitely had him break all this stuff for us, and it would have been a much better idea than what we did, which was not that. As much as I, I really want that potion, and I would really love those bombs, we may be able to sell something. Hey! Here. <laughs> oh god i just had to i just you you know i had to oh my god you know i had to that's so good okay uh, i kind of want to wait until we get a pet biscuits potion or at the very least wait until oh my god wait until the boss zap 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 we got a weird uh gold zap zap build that's really just not doing not doing much yet it's just how it be currently it is this is barely a barely a run of any kind oh that's nice that's real nice we do have to do that to open up that one okay like i'm, I'm liking getting all these potions it's really handy i yeah i mean we can and the fact that we can hold them we have like really really good potions for taking down a boss I genuinely don't know if it's worth the damage that we might take. Fifteen? Maybe? Might have been worth it? Can't remember it was in the Black Rabbit shop, but we maybe should have, like, took a dang peek. Should have maybe take a, took a dang peek. I just... Crits explode enemy when we crit and then kill an enemy, they explode into arrows. I just I gotta be real. This run is not strong yet. And we are poisoned and I can't move properly. This is just it, it's one of the weaker weaker most directionless starts I think I've had in a long time. I, I'm kinda just trying to get a little bit of damage the best we can here. Get a little bit of damage the best I can until we get something that's like worth having. Okay, we we gotta. We are legally obligated. Yep. Please don't. Okay. I say please do not be a mimic. You can't be serious. Oh, okay. It sort of looks like it can't be pushed into the pit, which is good. <gasps> Pilfer in a bottle, and by that I mean bottled pilfer. Same thing. That's what I was talking about le last time, where it's literally just a it spawns a golden pilfer. You do still have to kill it in time and everything, but it does spawn a golden pilfer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Trying to kill with the gold is kind of like not worth it. The gold is just, it's just not very strong, the zap. In, uh, it, it's like even less strong in Undermine, I think. And it's honestly not even worth doing in Undermine for the most part. Like, it's not really a themed build. You know, you can't really. Um. Is this a no brainer? I can't remember. 120. We basically had exactly... Okay, yes, it is, a, it is a no brainer in this mode right now. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted verification. Take a bomb. Back to the other shop. There was a secret room down south there, I think. So we could just, you know. I will take the HP. I'm pretty sure there was a secret room right there. I will probably take that extra bomb. I will take a hit because, honestly, I need all the help I can get. I mean, I'm... You know what? I'm super for this. Give it to me. Blessed Blend. I believe it just drops a random blessing, which, you know, I'm here for that, too. I'm gonna say no to the gold at the moment. No to the gold at the moment. Oop. Okay. Uh. I mean... How's this boss gonna really go? Like, we, we could... 
we could die at this boss. I, don't, I really hope we hope we don't have such a thing happen. Uh, it's so early on that gold sounds really nice. All right. For now. For now. Since it's early on. I think from here on out, I will probably go with some of the other stuff. I really... Should I... Should I... Just do all of it. Just do it all. Wish we could have gotten a pet biscuits and we still could have. I just... I don't love our build and its chances at the moment against the boss. I think... I think without this, it, this fight would have been kind of stank. Stank town. I probably shouldn't have done the uh, the throw size. It's kind of what I'm thinking right now, but going totally okay now. Brap. Throw speed down actually helped us out there a bit, which is pretty cool. Oh, boy. Oh boy! Do I have a reflector? I don't have a reflector. Sir! Ah, the potion's going away. Get that value while we can. Get the value while we can. We can swing faster and from a safer distance and crit a bit more. And it's gone. Now we do the wombo combo. Alright. A little, little messed. A little messed, a little messy. This is my favorite thing about the, uh, the Nori fight. Is you always get meat that can be cooked. You always get two cooked meats if you do it correctly. All right, moment of truth. Fine. We should get more gold that way. Increase your max health, increase your swing damage. God, this is just... Just kind of... Meh. E e e e e e e e ooh. I cannot really deal with the decreased swing damage just from a utility standpoint. It's kind of tough. Just to... It, it's tough to want that, you know? It's the equivalent of like two swing speed downs. Uh, or maybe even three? I don't know. I can't remember correctly. But it's just kind of... kind of just sucks. It sucks from like a game... game feel standpoint. I don't really... I just don't like how it feels. Yep. We're very much in the kick punch it's all in the mind swing throw combo time. Yeah, that's not, you know, here's the only thing I like about this. Here's the only thing I like about this. We're already done with Nori, so it, it's not the only thing. It's not bad. Honestly, toughness or er, fortitude is very good. But I was really hoping to get rid of the double bomb. It, it's not, you know what? Maybe it's better in other in other mine. I I don't know. I I kind of like it. I definitely like it thematically. I think it's a really fun item. Uh, the fact that we are done with Nori, we don't have to worry about that now. Is nice. Uh, Thirty-five. Uh, you know, it's actually. I'll I'll admit, it's about as good as I am right now. Between this and Nori, yeah, you know what? It's all good. If we could get a secret room over here to the right. It's possible. It's not, though. Okay. Don't want to bomb too much. We wouldn't have been able to actually get it, too, if we didn't get the, uh, the thing from the chest there. All right, Nori. Nori in the blind forest. There's the secret room. Should we do it? Hey, boy, it do cost two, don't it? It ain't lying. Okay. At least we're getting a, like, a lot of bombs from chests. I ain't gonna complain about that. And we do have pretty good money. That, that's basically where our strength lies today. What? Okay, so 60, what do we get back? 55! Okay, so... We do have a good scenario going there. Let me just buy all of this right now. Because our strength... You know what our strength is this run? Capitalism. Buying stuff. 
getting good, like getting a good deal, generating a little bit of extra money and collecting everything that drops, and basically getting the free, like the food is basically 100% free almost. Like, well, we can't get another shop discount, I guess. We can get more gold value up. One more gold value up and it's probably basically... I hate, I hate that trade. But I kind of think it might be necessary. Okay. Very, very worth it. Very, very worth it. Okay. Four Leaf Clover generates a lot of gold over the course of the run. Uh, and we can totally get it. You know what? Just, just like... Come on. Come the hell on! Really? Oh my god. I just wanted to get... I wanted to get max value out of it. That's all. Okay. Alright. We'll pop on back. We'll get it. We'll be able to buy the food as well. But yeah, every single enemy is just going to drop just a little tiny bit of gold. Just a little bit of gold. Which should be quite helpful. Okay. Alright. We're, we're in a fine spot for health. We're fine. We're fine. Every chest is going to drop meat that, has, uh, that gives us gold as well. That's really... That's what our strength is today. Strength... Oh, through capitalism, I suppose. We get the little tiny itty bitty baby zaps of damage when we kill enemies as well through the gold. It's is it gonna be that helpful? Eh, probably not. But it is nice to have for uh, uh for the for the actual gold game. That's what I really That's what I'm about with it. Do, 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 I wish it didn't spawn so far. Oh, we almost killed that man by pushing him straight into the pit. That would have been kind of nice. All right, come on. First big item. You know, I, I really like Catalyst. If we could get Gold Tooth, it'd be amazing. This is actually the first time we've got Catalyst, I think. At the very least, it's the first time we've got Catalyst on a run where I think it will actually um, have a little bit more of an impact. I'll tell you what it does. It, uh, it makes it so every time we heal... We heal for an extra one. I think I might actually ignore that. So basically, whenever whenever we heal, like, pick up food, we heal for one extra health. That doesn't sound like that big of a deal because it's not. But what is a big deal is situations where you heal for one damage a lot of times. That is a very big deal. So things like Gold Tooth literally have their value doubled. What is this? A uh, chance to lose a key when you take damage. What is this set? Okay, yeah, it's basically free. Not not 100%. Um... Alright. Uh... All right, all right, all right. I would kind of dig another... Okay. As much as I hate doing th it this way, I am want to find the exit and then pick that up. So we have an increased chance of getting Omega Law. The, the reason I skipped out on the bomb size blessing is, one, we don't need it. Uh, we don't need it. But the more important reason is the Omega Law chance, finding the uh, the deal with the devil effectively. I don't want that because it'll decrease our chance by 5%, and the value that it brings to this specific run is definitely not worth that. I just... <gasps> fine! Fine! Gold explodes when it hits the ground. You know, at least enemies are going to be dropping it. At least enemies are going to be dropping it, you know. So it's another chance for them to uh, deal a little little extra damage. See, like right there, I think it killed that guy. All in all, this run, it's, it's, it's just, 
It's so close to being something. All right, so there's no gold there, so that makes that a pretty easy choice. If we have the uh, the gold value, I would probably like I will probably do that if I see it one more time, just because it I think it will put us into the territory where all shop meat is literally free. I mean, you have to have enough money to buy it the first time, but it's it's like it's like a, a mail-in rebate that is for a hundred percent of the cost of the item. Um, I just realized this is the boss fight, so the whole waiting on the blessing thing doesn't is not relevant actually so secret room down south no secret room down south key in the shop no key in the shop all right um swing damage not swing speed so it's less annoying it's less annoying when our main source of damage is the swing throw combo. I'm speaking of annoying though, like I'm not able to get into any of these rooms and that hurts a bit. That definitely hurts a bit. Please, there can be a thing in here that gives us key. Oh boy, I thought I was thought I was gonna get lucky there. Oh Okay. We'll take it. We can also just walk through here. We'll take damage, take damage, gain gold at the same time. It's it's fine if we do it in moderation. Beep, beep. Okay. <sighs> I think we can handle anybody right now. I was didn't. Okay. I was gonna say is I just do not want to fight Seer. I think that we had like the stuff to to take down anybody but like the seer fight I just didn't really feel like doing yeah this is just such a such a regular damage run like very very unimpressive damp what what's happening why am I there's a there's an orb back there that he was covering up oh my god he was covering up an orb. That's a, uh, that's a problem. We're so far over to the right. I have to crank my head to look at that part of my monitor. I, I'm, oh boy, that was, uh, that was some rough stuff. That could have been so bad. I, I can't believe there, there was. He was literally smuggling. <gasps> there she is. Miss Universe! Holy Glaze is meta-definingly strong. Okay, simple chest. More items in the shop. Uh, it's a, it's a meta-definingly strong potion in the sense that it evens out all of the blessings you have. So if you have, uh, you know, if we had two of this, one of this, three of this, it would take the three and put it to this. And they would all be at two. However, the game is generous and rounds up. So you can do a situation where you have 10 blessings. All of them are rank one, but only one of them is rank two. You drink that potion, everything is rank two now. It rounds up, no matter how small the percentage. It is a game definingly strong. Killing enemies destroys the blessing. I hate. I hate both of these options with a passion. But, you know, tis what tis. But that, I cannot wait to get that potion. Like I said, run definingly strong. Uh, game definingly strong. Unless they've nerfed it and it no longer rounds up from a small percentage, that would obviously, like, change everything Ooh, change everything I just can I get a key though like I can't play this game right now without a key Oop. okay oh boy 
If they don't have no tail, they should be good. They should be gone. All right. All right. We can bomb our way into the old, the old shop, which is nice. Okay. So like I said, that's where the strength of this run lies right now. That's 100% where the strength of the run lies. Uh... All right, here we go. Removes all curses, bombs, keys, sets health to one. Let me, let me tell you, this is a, this is a messy play right here. This is a messy play. But I think it's a good one. Okay. This is it's a, it's a boy. It's a boy. It's an interesting call. Okay, we should be able to buy that. But here we go. We're in an okay spot now. We remove the curse. Sure. Make it free with the freeloaders draft. Oh baby, freeloaders draft. It gives you. I mean, you can tell right there. Makes one thing in the room free. You may read that and be like, that means it can only be used in a shop to make a, a purchasable item free. Not quite. You can also make uh, you can make shrines free, uh, so they do not have a penalty. At least I believe I don't know if it's only on. Um, can't remember if it's exclusively on the uh, the penance or not. You can make omega lol items free. You can make curse like the the rooms that have the cursed items. You can make those free. It's just a, it's a catch-all. It can be game-breakingly great. And by that, I mean, it can be really, really nice ones. It's not really gonna, I wouldn't call it game-breaking. To get, like, one really good item for free? Okay. We're gonna save this up. I shouldn't have used my potion. I really shouldn't have. There was a free curse tag around. Oop. I know I, I know I shouldn't. I, I promise I know. But it's going to be okay. We definitely shouldn't use this potion yet. Oh, shoot. First things first, do this. First things first, do this. First things first, leave your brains. I know we could use this as like a special bomb potion and everything. Just trying to level up my dang pet. Finally. Once and for all. Alright. What do I want to re-roll that I have? There's got to be something that's really unimpressive. We get gold tooth. This is god tier. I would not I would not say that that was extremely uh, stonks kind of regret it oh all right all right part two I'll take that potion to the bank baby I should have maybe re-rolled it but like I kind of want to save this for a situation where we might be able to reroll more than one thing at the same time? That shows up from time to time. What do you got for me? All right, one more. One more of that. Got to backtrack one more time. Oh my God. Did not see that that was gonna be down there. Move it, 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 move it. Move it, move it, move it. Let's go, let's go. Move it, move it, move it. Let's go, let's go. Thanks. All right. 
Miner's Flask. Gordon's Tunic, I, I guess I haven't talked about what it does. I, I mean, I, yeah, I did. It reduces elemental damage. Uh, and that's like half as straightforward as it sounds. You know, like electricity, fire. Uh, I think maybe Nori, some of Nori's attacks. It's just like, it, it, it reduces it by a lot. It's really, really helpful for damage over time effects and everything like that. So it's one of those ones where it doesn't sound very exciting and it's never like a fun pickup, but it's always really actually, it is really helpful, genuinely. It's honestly very, very good. It even cuts bomb damage like in half, basically. I will never not take devotion when I, unless it's late in the game. It's just so good. 60, these are free now. These are these are free now. Those are free. Yes, you can make it so you literally gain gold from them too. But hell yeah. That's kind of, that's just where I wanted to get to. Oh, now they're specific. Okay, here's the thing. Let's do this in a, uh, in an item room. That's how we should have done it the first time. Because it just drops it on the ground. Whoop. Yeah. yeah, Nori honestly seems to be doing pretty decent damage for us right now. I think that I might be uh, not a fan of Nori in the base, the base game. I think he's not quite as strong there. He seems relatively fine here, like pretty good even. Pretty good even. Whoop. That was cute. Legally gotta admit it. All right. No mega lull. No, oh my, come on. Ugh, that is actually so cruel. So cruel. Why would you do that to me? The item room's got to be one of these over here. I'm pretty sure it has to be behind a key, right? Yeah. I, for some reason, I feel like I knew that base, I, like item rooms, can't be behind bomb walls. For some reason, I don't know why. I've done such a stupid thing. It's not even funny. Oh god. Please be a key in here. Oh my god, please. There could be a secret room here, maybe? Oh, are you kidding me? Please tell me there was a key in the shop over here that I just didn't pick up for some reason. Oh, I did a bad thing. I mean, the good news is I think we got the uh, unicorn horn. Now we have to pick between the duplicator and a key. Genuinely, I think we should probably take the duplicator. Let me double check. Wait, can we sell something to Black Rabbit? Is this a sell situation? It's a sell situation. On its own, it's not that big of a deal. And we we may never get the thing that's... On, wait, hold on. What if... Okay. We may never get the thing that makes it better. So, I'ma say nah. Go down here. Buy, I would say, both keys, actually. That potion is tempting as well. The thing is, we may literally just not... It may not be a thing that matters up here we may like just want to pick up the first thing we see it's a very real possibility uh 
I'm actually like okay enough with my items that I have on. I hate that this is all what happened. I think that Axe Throw's Pendant's like bad, but I kind of like, I just want to have a throw run. Is that, that just, it's been a while, but it's like, it's really not a throw run in any way. We're not getting any of the, the core components to make it happen. This run is just a, it's a freaking mystery, man. It's really, it's just, it does not know what it is. There's definitely been some things that have pushed it towards being what seemed like a swing run. It's a waste of a bomb in the end. But I just, I don't know. We've done quite a bit of those. We've actually done, a, the past couple runs were pretty bomb focused. Throw runs have uh, they've not gotten, they've not gotten the love. They have not gotten the love. Oop. Really? You weren't even looking at me. You throw your dang, uh, you shoot your dang crossbow to the side. Swing your hips from side to side. Oop. Is it a worse deal? Was that 190? This or this is on a double discount, isn't it? Huh. It's hard to tell when when it gets like a shop specific discount. Oh, I'm actually glad that that didn't work. If I had four and I used all four for that, that would have been an idiot. Bad call. Like using four to get into an item room is not inherently a bad trade, but using four to get into an item room when you have not gotten into the one key item room is a bad trade because there's no difference between the items in the two, as far as I'm aware. They're literally the same. So obviously you want to start by going for the one that has only one, you know? Ya you know? Uh, not sure. Not sure what I want. Oh, baby, that's a good item. Huh. Why? Why zap gold? Why zap zap gold? So there is our one key item room. God, we're weak. Our potions could maybe carry us with a little bit of strength, you know? We we get a couple others or something. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'll take that. I already did my re-roll. Whoops a doops. Uh, that's actually okay, because lava walkers are not bad. I don't even know if we're gonna get Seer, but if we have Seer as our final fight, I'm gonna be happy that I have the lava walkers. That's effectively where I'm at right now. If Seer is our this fight or the next fight, I'll be happy I did that. Hmm. Ah, Ave Maria. Okay. This room all the way up there. Is it worth it? It is on this run. It's this is a pretty re like really slow run by uh eh. This is a really slow run by other mine standards. 40 minutes and we haven't beaten this boss yet. It's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. You can beat other mine runs in 30 minutes, easy peas, with the right stuff. Okay, I like the nor how the Nori hand will uh, oop, will bop the dang guy before we. I, why would I get? Why would I get set on fire? Why would I get set on fire there? 
I have lava walkers. Why am I getting set on fire when I have lava walkers? I got I gotta pause, I can adjust my chair. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. Why am I set on fire if I have lava walkers? It's not supposed to, I was under the impression. Don't have any bombs to get rid of that. I, I, okay, 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 come on, what the hell? Actually, what the hell, are we gonna die from this? All right, we're just doing the throw run now. If we die from that, I'm actually gonna be really upset. Like, his feet, for some reason? No, oh my God. His feet fire is different fire, I guess. Also, the invincibility should last half as long and happen half as frequently. It's just, you can buff him in another way, just like, rule number one, never make a, give a boss this much, like, eye frames. It's just like, it's just not, no, just, just no, just don't do it. You punk. Guess the succubus is a pretty, just in case, I don't trust you right now, video game. Uh, fine. Increase throw damage. Make it happen, Captain. Throw damage. Happen, Captain. I don't want either of these. Okay, this is actually. I'm not feeling great about us said like heading into this floor right now. I don't like it. I don't like it at the moment. Okay. Them throws are oh, like they are completely okay right now. They are very, very okay throws. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't you do it. I'm gonna go down to get some pay maybe get some possibly free food. Oh. It's it wasn't quite free, but I think it's worth doing. 704, 704, 704. Two curses and 704. It's potentially a big deal. Okay. So we got it. I think we just go down and pick. Ah, God, it's such a such a frustrating curse. I think we just go down, and we pick it up, no matter what, right? I mean, I see that. Yes, I do see the uh, the bomb run in a in a bottle right here, basically. I do see that. We've been doing it quite a bit, and I think it's just like a it's just a little too late to um to get that stacked up, and we didn't get. We're not gonna have enough bombs generating. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have, uh... Oh, God. Come on. We don't have a way to get a lot of bombs. Ooh. Okay. Lava Waka. Okay. Ooh, boy. If we could generate two unique curses from this, I would be very, very pleased. We are gonna go through and do this so we don't get cheesed. Okay, unique curse one. Unique curse two. Yay, thank you very much. Oil on an otter, clean as a whistle. Like it. All right, so these are all free again. Or not. Oh, they are, but that one is just too expensive. Okay, they're not—they're not free. They, you you got to have enough money to pay for it the first time, but it costs you no money if you have that much. We're back at—we're back at that point. It's just a. Uh, there's a. Not a free is just a, feels like a better way of saying it. You know what I'm saying? Buy one get 
negative. We get get an extra one back. Boop. Good deal. Do -do 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 -do. This should pay for itself. Okay. Should we get curses? Probably not. Probably not. I mean, I would like to get Omega Low to maybe like, if we could get Chakram, this run would turn into something finally. So like, I'm tempted in that regard. Hell, I'll take one. I'll take one. One curse. Decrease the amount of gold received. Ah, eh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's pretty late in the run. Pretty late in the run. Increased our chance by 5%. Didn't do it. Didn't work. Did not work. We still have one floor. We have one floor left to get Omega Lol. Not that 5% is enough to, you know, assume that we were going to get it. But we've not gotten it all day, so our chance shouldn't be, like... Shouldn't be bad, I wouldn't think. Okay, so this is where Catalyst is really good, is with this potion that we probably should have just saved, to be honest. To be honest. There we go, we got value. Up and out! I don't know, if we go real quick, we might get more value out of Troll Sweat. I doubt it, but could. Dad but I could, dad but I could. Dad but I dad but I dad but I could. I'm mad, man. What can I say? I want it. I want it. Oh my god. Chests have a chance to have nothing in them. Is a pretty bad, pretty bad curse, really. Like all things considered. I'm lazy. What can I say? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tent. We have to continue the trend of you just not being useful in any way. Like, could I just get, sh like, bouncy? Oh, my God. AoE blap. Honestly, Nori's carrying me. That's what I'm honest about. Holy son of a man, man. Jeez. That is... That AoE bopper there was really good. Really good. Okay. Full HP, we can actually do that, I think. We just bought money with a key. We sold the key for like a really good, really good profit as far as keys go. Oh my god, this is an absolutely abysmal layout for me right now. I feel like there could be a secret in there. Thank you, Lava Walkers. Otherwise, this room would have been just like an absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Okay. Oh, thank you. Well, not really. I guess we're not really on a swing run. Not really. We're not really on a throw run either, though. No, you can't do anything with that. I've I, I've always thought you would be able to, but you, you can't apparently. It looks like it. It's just a visual thing. I I probably wouldn't have opened it anyways. Truly. Truly, truly. Probably wouldn't have opened it. Yeah, we're doing good enough damage with the swing throw. It's all in the mine. Uh, but it's not like... I don't know. It's just been kind of a kind of an okay strength run. Is just really it. Um, 
Aura's great, but like, it's really, really late in the run. I don't think we care about Aura any, anymore, right? It's, it's really late in the run for that. Also, let's cycle this. We have a chance to get a potion back anyways. Has it, has it not done it a single time? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I feel like we've not been getting potion dupes from our spirit with the Uno Mas trait. That's definitely how it feels. Oh my god. Whop, whop. A whopping 18 gold from the wall. Jiminy Christmas, man. Jimmy Christmas. Alright. Good deal. Just 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 truck it along. Just truck it along. Hey, we're getting a response respectable throw run by the end of this run. All it takes is the entire day. This seems like it might be a secret room. All it takes is an entire entire day's worth of effort. I'm gonna minimize my backtracking I'll have to do later and just go down and do this now. Knowing we get free HP out of the uh, out of every chest makes that a little bit more palatable to do. Also, shout out to Maxwell Damage for supporting on Patreon. I'm not sure if I did that earlier. Huge thank you. Getting the name on a peasant. If you uh, oh, don't know about it, you can get your name on a peasant. Five bucks. Oh boy. Okay, five bucks, <laughs> and you get your name on a peasant. Immediately put out the top of the list if you're a new Patreon supporter. Also, if you just want to, you know, if you're somebody and you, you want to chip in even just $1, the $1 tier is you get absolved by, of using a... completely absolved for using ad block on the channel. <laughs> so, that's one thing. Truly, I, re I really wish there was a way, like, if YouTube memberships changed their thing and they made it so, like, people who you're a YouTube member of, you don't get ads on their channel, I would love that. I would do that in a heartbeat. But since that isn't that way, and the uh, Patreon is just a much better system, that's kind of just how I how I have to run it, you know. Uh, hmm. Okay. So we do twice as much with our throws. There's still. Oh my god. I'm just looking at the numbers. I should not be messing around right here though because. This is kind of one of the nastiest sets of enemies, potentially. It can it can be, at the very least. It can be really, really bad, so... We shouldn't have been goofing. Goofing in such a way. Just trying to get as much of the food as we can there. Eh. Also, eh. I mean, there's no way to get Omega Lol anymore, so there's no point in uh, farming curses. I goof gaffed it. I Zach braffed it. No son of a gun! No way! Stop it! Boy, those are like two very irrelevant things for this. Um, this may be one of the items that could make the biggest difference in our run right now, just making it so all of our attacks turn into crits, basically, because we have the Savagery Serum. It should... Uh, these two things combined should make it so we have 100%... Oh. Uh, 100% crit chance, really. Just to drop another potion, maybe. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, we already used our potions. 
Yeah, this is basically, this is gonna be like an hour long, uh, hour long other mine run. It's been such a, such a duker. Here's the thing. Throw runs are really quite smooth for, uh, for Ponzu. It's one of the bosses where throw runs beat out swing runs, like, 2,000 to 1, you know? Like, look at this. It's actually, in the end, with all of our equipment, everything, all the meta progression upgrades we were able to afford from the shop, through our ability to purchase stuff. Literally, like, that's what carried this run. You thought I was kidding, maybe? But no, capitalism carried the run. That's literally it. Without it, we would have been bescrewed because we literally just were able to afford so many meta progression upgrades. So much stuff. Very, very solid in that sense. And it was able to carry us in the end. We were able to get all those potions, get everything. Ether, is this the one that makes it so you can remove a very specific, like you can remove a specific curse? I think so. If so, I want that potion. Oh, Ronto. But for now, bam. pop this bad boy open. All kinds of stuff there. We have a lot of meta progression crystals here. Pick this bad boy up. We are on a streak of eight, it seems. Streak of eight. Thank you very much to Maxwell Damage, like I said, for supporting on Patreon. Give me a name on the peasant. Link at the very top of the description if you want to get your name on a peasant or just chip in a dollar and then you can turn on ad block and not feel guilty about it. You get absolved. But that's going to do it. Link in the description. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day. Undermine every day at 1 p.m. Central. All kinds of good stuff on the channel, though. Thank you, thank you. We're getting all kinds of unlocks for next time. Or we'll maybe unlock a pet and an item. Or a pet and a potion. We'll see. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.